Welcome to Figure in the Arts, New World School of the Arts Arts and Entertainment Program. I am Maria Flores. New World School of the Arts, it's an educational partnership between Miami-Dade County Public Schools, Miami-Dade College, and the University of Florida. Located in downtown Miami, New World School of the Arts is a fully accredited public institution that offers the high school diploma as well as the four-year Bachelor of Fine Arts and Bachelor of Music degrees. Um, the school was created 25 years ago by the Florida legislature. And this year, New World School of the Arts is celebrating its silver anniversary. Joining us are Dr. Jeffrey Hutchison, interim provost of New World School of the Arts, and one of the first graduates of the college program, Patrick O'Connell. Welcome to Figuring the Arts. Um, Thank you. Dr. Hutchison, New World is celebrating in grand scale this year because the school is 25, a quarter of a century uh, old. What, um, and many things have been happening. Tell us a little bit about what the school has been doing to bring back its founding or its alumni. Well, the 25th anniversary, uh, I really felt was an important marking point for our institution. 25 years is, is relatively young. And in so many ways, New World School of the Arts has grown with this community. And here in downtown Florida on the Wolfson campus of Miami-Dade College. So the 25th anniversary was an opportunity to reconnect with our founders, our alumni, our supporters, and also to bring recognition to the school, to bring new friends, um, to know and understand our programs and, and get to know us. You know, one of the most important things uh, that we do at New World School of the Arts is to create the, the next generation of artists and performers. And so the 25 year mark was a way for us to sit back and look and see who are those people, what are their successes. Um, and so part of that was an alumni reunion that we held uh, this fall, uh, which had a number of components. We had a, um, an evening gathering at Art Scene. Art Scene is our gallery in the Wynwood District. Um, which was really exciting because we used a multimedia approach um, with videos and photographs and slideshows of, of the past. And, and it gave uh, faculty and students and alumni a chance to, to relive the past and have a nice uh, social gathering. Then we brought uh, the alumni to school and some of them uh, held master classes. Um, some of our uh, former faculty, uh, our, our retiring Dean uh, Danny Lewis of, from dance uh, gave a class and we had students back in the hallways with uh, here at the school um, and it was just great to see uh, f alumni and the faculty reuniting, uh, talking about the old days, seeing what's changed and the things that haven't changed uh, about the school and um, just reconnecting. Uh, we had a great big uh, party at Jungle Island, um, which was um, just, you know what, at New World School of the Arts, our students work really hard, day in and day out in the galleries, in their classrooms, in their studios, but they like to enjoy some time together. And so we had a really wonderful social event um, with um, performances from s current students and from alumni as well as alumni who um, uh, spoke about the school and we toasted the school and had a wonderful 25th anniversary birthday cake. So uh, that, that was a wonderful event. And we followed that with a day for, for families, uh, a picnic at the beach. Um, and despite some uh, rain issues, uh, it didn't rain the whole time, it cleared up in time um, for some fun and some um, games uh, out out in the in the in the park and um, it was a really good way to not only um, connect with the alumni but with their larger extended family and to really see who will be the future members of the New World School of the Arts family. So, so it was not just a reunion it was a three almost four day uh, reunion. Now you touched on the school, the early days of the school, which was vastly different from what it is today. Uh, same concept, 
different venue. Tell us briefly, and then we'll get to hear about Patrick's uh, experience during the alumni reunion and during his stay here. Well, I think it's exciting because um, New World School of the Arts um, is a ground up project. Um, but what, even though there's humble beginnings, the very beginnings of the school have stood the same over time, mm -hmm. which is to provide young, talented artists um, professional training in the arts. And I think that mission and the outstanding faculty and administration, the deans who guide the departments, have led to what we see as the su success over 25 years. And it's a testament to what the kind, what arts training means, which is that you dedicate yourself to your craft, you focus and spend a lot of time working, and then when the lights come up on stage, you're ready for your performance. And the 25th anniversary was sort of our moment in the spotlight to, to look back at what we've accomplished. And Patrick, you were part of the humble beginnings that Dr. Hodgson is talking about because you are a graduate of the first college class. It was, I'll tell you, a, a very dynamic and, and, and inspiring time. Um, what division I, were you? I was you? in musical theater. Music theater. And uh, I think it's actually a little known fact that the original class of the college was made up primarily of um, students from two magnet high schools in the Midwest, one in Cincinnati, Ohio, huh. and one in Louisville, Kentucky. And I graduated from a, a performing arts magnet high school in Cincinnati. And in that senior year, a delegation of New World founders basically came, uh, armed, I guess, now with a lot of scholarships, and uh, auditioned students from my school and then a similar program in Louisville. So when I arrived uh, in downtown Miami 24 years ago, I was surrounded by a lot of folks from, from the Midwest and from my high school mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, the, the first couple of years, as I mentioned, very dynamic. There were a lot of, of remarkable professional entertainers that were brought in to do master classes. Yeah. Uh, they were developing the full-time faculty at that time. So every year was different. Um, very diverse, but it was, it was a very, very remarkable education. What was the highlight of your performing days at New World School of the Arts? Well, if you had to mention one. I would, I would probably say uh, my senior year, uh, New World put on a production of West Side Story and I was cast as the lead of Tony. Uh, much different time then. The, the being so small, mm -hmm. the, the college would always borrow talent from the high school. So we would do combined productions with high school and uh, college. Uh, in addition to the, the beginnings of, of the, the touring musical theater group, the New World Connection at that time, it was combined college and high school. Uh, and the connection is still true today. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And this theater where we're sitting, uh, I'll never forget the first time really setting foot into this building. Uh, after spending a couple years in the, the, the original property over uh, as part of the Miami-Dade campus where we were actually working not only out of a small building but a couple of storefronts, even a church they borrowed and they for, for classes. Um, but uh, halfway through uh, my four years was when this building was, was uh, uh, opened and I remember taking a hard hat tour with Dean Guerra even before they had finished all of the, uh, the construction and how exciting it was. And now you are, you've come back um, as a result of the alumni reunion and yes. you are re-engaged. You were never detached, but now you're more engaged into the school. Tell us briefly Well, um, how so. over that great weekend back in October, um, I spoke to a few key members of faculty and staff, some of them that, that had even been here since my days at New World, and commented on the fact that I had never been engaged or asked to contribute back, whether that's through uh, volunteer or, or through monetary contributions. And uh, after speaking to a few folks, I was uh, subsequently invited to join the foundation board for the school as an alumni member. Um, and then through that involvement with the foundation, uh, we've started a, a, an initiative to, to form a, a formalized uh, alumni association. 
And that's wonderful because because you came here and you understand the program, you'll be able to recruit and bring back a wealth of alumni that will eventually become uh, integral to the program. Absolutely. And we, uh, I thank you both for sharing your experience with us. We have to take a short break, but I'll leave you with one thought. Um, New World School of the Arts is a place where music, dance, theater and visual arts happens every single day and in every single corner of the school. When you come to support one of the concerts or exhibitions or dance performances or music programs, you're helping the school spread the, the good news. We have plenty, but just be warned, once you step foot into New World School of the Arts, you can never let go. We'll be right back with more on how New World School of the Arts is celebrating its silver anniversary with a the theater division. Thank you. The New World School of the Arts came in and I mean like an angel saved my life, gave me a scholarship. I'm able to come to school, look at my family and just tell them you don't have to worry about my education, it's being taken care of. New World School of the Arts has been just a wonderful uh, instrument in uh, beginning my career as an opera singer. I've been able to study with fantastic, fantastic faculty with years of experience. They've just really helped me to become the singer I've become. A new world overall has, has been different, has been an opening. I think New World School of the Arts is a beacon for the arts and New World School of the Arts is like this citadel. Like every floor is a different strand of the arts and everybody comes in here and they're just here to create.